I've docked inside the Emperor's fortress. No sign of opposition. I may as well. Perhaps we caught the Emperor napping. I took some cannon fire getting in, but my shields held up. The Medes detect enemy forces converging on my hangar. <sighs> Looks like I drew the short straw. Everyone disembark. Follow your routes to the objective. No surrender, no retreat. Are you saying we're on a suicide mission? We cannot afford to fail. We'll never get another chance. I'll see you in the throne room. May the Force protect us all. Master Bugga, out. He's waiting. He'd be laughing if he still knew how. Who's laughing? I don't hear anything. The Emperor isn't afraid. He's just quiet. Still. All he feels is... cold rage. I don't care what Master Braga wants. I'll take the Emperor's head first chance I get. Can't you feel the deaths that happened here? Others tried. And failed. We shouldn't have come. This is a trap. You're a danger to this mission. You're confined to quarters. I'm trying to save us. We can't win! The docking base sealed shut behind us. Retreat is not an option. I'll go with you. Maybe I should stay and look after Kira. Poor kid. Look at her shaking. T7, you're in charge here. Let's go, Sergeant. I'll take point. Victory or death. the Empress Sanctum. There is only one punishment. Oh, the Emperor's Wrath. You left empty-handed on Quesh. Prepare for another disappointment. Your friends did not survive. You fight alone. Weapons on. Just say the word. By my master's command, you must die. You are the Jedi's finest. It is not enough to save you. Tough talk from someone who's losing this fight. Be careful. Arrogance is a weakness freely exploited. Surrender, Sith. You and your master cannot stand against all of us. Stay back. The Emperor and his wrath are all mine. Remember our purpose. The Emperor is within our reach. Misdirected passion. Such a waste. My friends and I wish to speak with you. Please accompany us to Tython. An infantile display, Tol Braga. Reckless pride, limbed by self-righteousness. You are master of nothing. You can insult us all you want from your cell, but you are coming with us. You stand there because I allow it. Because I 
do not fear. Free yourself. You're stronger than his influence. Fight. Master Orcus, what happened? The Emperor clouded your mind in darkness. Made you do terrible things. You've been the Emperor's pawn a long time. But you're finally free. He enslaved my mind like he did to Kira? I will destroy him. Don't give in to emotion. It will consume you here. You're still aboard the Emperor's fortress. The enemy is everywhere, but they think you serve them. Keep your true nature secret. Find a way out. Your dark ally will help. I have a friend here? Can't wait to meet him. The Force is with you again. Be strong. Stop muttering to yourself, Acolyte. Today we test your ability to extract information from the enemy. Knowledge is power. Our enemies possess the secrets to their own annihilation. We must learn everything. I'm ready for my lesson. Please instruct me. One of the scum you arrived with awaits interrogation. You'll conduct it while I watch. Which particular bit of scum are you referring to? I came here with several. The Jedi girl. I understand she used to be one of us. Follow me. I'll instruct you in using the Tormentor device.
I look forward to it. After you. Let's begin. It's a simple device. Three inducement settings, each inflicting greater pain on the subject. The tormentor monitors the subject's vital signs, stopping just short of delivering lethal damage. Still quite agonizing, however. I know you're still in there. You're not one of them. If I beat him, you can too. Proceed with the lowest inducement setting. Get your subject focused. Bad news, Overseer. I don't work for the Emperor anymore. And neither do you. You're free. Are you all right? I am now. I knew you'd come back. This place is crawling with Sith who don't know you're back to normal, but you won't fool them forever. We need to leave. Quick. T7 and the others are still in the docking bay, locked in cages. We can free everyone and take back the ship. We aren't leaving until I kill every Sith on the station, especially the Emperor. Are you crazy? We barely survived the last fight. We need to get out of here. Step away from my ship. We're leaving. If I wished to fight, I would not have freed your crew. Or killed these guards. More guards will come. Shall we go before they arrive? Our last duel was interrupted. This one won't be. Destroy me, and the galaxy dies. I could have killed you on Quesh had I wanted. Did you never wonder why I hesitated? I have waited over 300 years to see the face that came to me in a vision. Your face. You could have told me this on Quesh, or in your master's fortress. I needed to be sure the time had come. Now I know. Only a few beings have ever broken the Emperor's domination. You and that girl are special. She only broke the Emperor's will with my help. I freed myself. Regardless, my former master no longer holds any power over your minds. Though the Emperor seeks to conceal his true plans, I have seen them. That vision has driven me to this. I pledge my loyalty to you. Take me to your Jedi Council on Tython, and I'll reveal why. We're not actually considering this. I mean, he's obviously full of awful. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm with Doc. This is a trap. I seek to save this galaxy from annihilation. Without my help, your ship will never escape. I can guide you to freedom. Sergeant Rusk, put a slave collar on our new friend. One wrong move, Sith, and we won't need a lightsaber to remove your head. Time is a luxury we no longer possess. We must go now. I will navigate us through the defense grid. Thank you for your trust, Jedi. I might not have given mine so freely were our positions reversed. Tell me more about this vision. What makes someone like you bow to me? I will speak of my vision in detail to your council. Suffice it to say, I have long opposed my Lord Emperor. For a time, I worked with the greatest of your Jedi heroes. Revan, and the Jedi Exile. But they did not have the strength to complete their task. That's quite a claim. You will find no proof. I hid my association with them well. Nonetheless, I was their ally in the shadows, helping them oppose my Lord Emperor. Until my vision. Jedi, shining with the Force, lined up to destroy him. 
all were swept aside. Revan and the Exile were cast at my feet. Then, out of the shadows, one Jedi emerged to cut the Emperor down. That Jedi wore your face. Doesn't give me much to go on. It is a vision, Jedi. Not a battle plan. In the vision, I bowed to you and took a crown from the Emperor's head. It ended when you held his power in your hands. It's been so long. We thought you were lost forever. The mission to seize the Emperor has failed. He's more powerful than we realized. Master Braga, Liha Nerez, and Warren Sidoru are still missing. The Emperor's wrath helped us escape. He betrayed his master to join our side. Sith serve no one but themselves. I altered my loyalties to avert a threat to myself and you. Jedi are not alone in seeing the future. Centuries ago, I had a vision of the Emperor destroying the galaxy. Republic, Empire, everything gone. This Jedi has the power to stop him. We'll fly back to his fortress. You can betray him, and I'll strike the final blow. You aren't strong enough to win that confrontation. Not yet. The renewed war is merely a diversion to conceal the Emperor's designs. His true plans are already in motion across the galaxy. One by one, every star system will simply die. Trillions will perish. How does that benefit the Emperor? He'll feed on those deaths to become more powerful than all the Jedi and Sith combined. An immortal being of unlimited power. Once everyone's dead, who will he rule over? Domination holds no appeal to him. Only power. And this is not the sole galaxy in the universe. A thousand years ago, the Emperor tricked an entire Sith world into aiding a dark ritual. He promised great power. Only for himself, of course. The ritual consumed every living thing on the planet. He absorbed those life essences through the Force. He didn't kill all you people. Where did your empire come from? The true Sith occupied many worlds at the galaxy's edge. Losing one planet was hardly crippling. The Emperor has manipulated events for centuries towards one goal. Performing an even greater ritual that will destroy this galaxy. But the ritual requires a great sacrifice to begin. Billions of simultaneous deaths. He seeks to commit genocide on Belsavis. That prison world holds the worst filth captured by the Republic. Mass murderers, tyrants, even captured Sith Lords. We've kept the planet's location secret for decades, if the Emperor has found it. Once a sacrifice occurs, the Emperor's ritual cannot be stopped. We must save Belsavis. We? Your role in this is over, Sith. Put away your weapon, Master Caden. The Sith is cooperating. He'll come with me. I know the Emperor's ways. Belsavis is not the only world in danger. We must find the others. And I cannot help you from a prison cell. Like it or not, we need each other. He's right. I can feel the truth. Without his help, we are all dead. The Council will concentrate on locating other worlds at risk, and finding our missing friends. I'm counting on you to stop the Emperor's plans. We'll need all the help we can get. There's room on my ship for you. The Order needs leadership. This war is stretching us to the limit. Contact me when you reach Belsavis, and don't rely too closely on your ally. I'm disrupting the fabled Jedi calm. I suggest we depart. <laughs>